Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. So in this particular video we are going to have the previous year questions of SEBI IT uh, 2020 examination. But this particular video is for all the candidates who are appearing for SEBI IT 2022. So that they can have an idea what all previous year questions have been appeared in phase 2 examination of SEBI IT. So in this video we are going to take only one question and that one question will be of 40 marks that appeared in the um, previous year of 2020 of phase 2 examination. So this particular question is very important and it is related to the binary search tree. So we will be discussing the question and uh, we will be discussing a code in Python language so that you can understand uh, how you have to code a particular question in the examination and how you have to move on. So in this particular video mein I will say you will have a great idea about the level of difficulty that SEBI has offering. Okay, so what is the level of difficulty for the highest scoring marks question in SEBI IT? So it was the first year when 2020 uh, the descriptive paper started and it is the second year in 2022 that the descriptive paper will be there. So definitely the next level of the 40 marks that will appear for this 2020 examination uh, will be somehow lower than what it is going to come up in 2022. So definitely 2022 we can expect a little higher difficult question because the pattern has been out from the year 2020. So let's discuss the question on the binary search tree. So this particular question as I said it is for 40 marks and there you have to write a program to insert, delete and search on a binary search tree. So you can see these are the traditional approaches on a particular data structure. So they are asking trees data structure and specifically they are into the binary search tree because it has some special feature. So first we look at the special feature of the binary search tree. So the special feature of binary search tree goes like you know that in a tree you have a root node and then you have two childs for it as it is binary only. So one is the left child and the other one is the right child. Okay and so on every particular node will have its left and its right and its left and its right. Okay. So what happens in binary search tree, it happens that the root node, whatever the value the root node is having, that particular value will be greater than the left child and will be less than the right child. It means the value of the root will lie between the right child and from the left child. Okay, so this is the thing that uh, binary search tree follow at every level. So at this level, this root node will be greater than the left child and smaller than the right child. And this left child will be greater than this, its left child and its uh, right child will be greater than the left child. Okay, so this is the thing which is followed at every node in a binary search tree. So that's why it is very different from other trees and it holds a special place. Okay, so now we'll be looking at the insertion, deletion and the searching operations. And we are not going to write the whole program, we are going to take the functions for each of these particular things okay so what is the function which we are going to write for insertion for deletion and for the searching we will be taking them up so this is the first method in python okay so we, i have taken the language as python and you can just understand that if you understand the particular method you can easily code that particular method in c++ and in java so if you understand the basic methodology of the searching or insertion or deletion it won't be difficult to understand in other language i am taking it in python you can take it in c plus or in java whatever you need to understand at this moment is to understand this particular piece of code that how we are going to do a search operation okay so def search root comma key this will be the function definition that we are providing for the function search. Okay, so this is the user defined function which we are going to write for a search operation in binary search tree. So what exactly happened? Let's take this kind of tree and assume that this tree is your binary search tree. Okay, let's for an example, this is the case for us now. Now, you know that there will be the root node from where the tree will be starting and you have to start every operation from this root node only and by getting the access of this root node you can get the access of the left and the right and similar on you can get the access of the rest of the tree so what will happen here first you need to check of the extreme condition that your root is null or not 
Okay, so first you will be in a condition to check whether your root is null or the key is present at the root. Suppose I want to search for a particular key and that key is present at the first level only that is the root. So in that case I do not need to uh, check the other nodes of the tree. So this is the first condition where uh, will I return the root node of the tree. If the root node is none, that is null and if the root value, the value that the root node is having is equal equal to the key that I am searching for. Okay, so if this is the case, this will be my best case where the time complexity will be of order of 1 only because it is the one operation by which I am getting the output. After that thing, if the key that we are searching is greater than the root, if it is greater than the root, I know that I have to search in the right section of the tree. So what I will do, I will uh, just check whether it is greater than or it is less than. So if the root value is less, then I will be like uh, going to the right hand side because the key value is greater. So definitely by the logic of the binary search tree, I have to look onto the right side. Else what I will be doing, I will be doing the left side operation. So till I am having the key which is greater than the root node, I will keep on traversing to the right hand side and once I encounter that root value is greater than the key value, then I have to go to the left hand side of the tree. Okay, so this is a recursive code which you will be implementing in order to find a particular uh, node in the tree. Always do the recursive approach when it comes to trees because it gets very easy and gives you a clear cut idea how you have to solve. If you go by a traditional method by looking some other options, you will be finding yourself ending up with a lot of uh, lines of code which actually might not run in the actual scenario. So for trees, I will suggest for everyone to go with the recursive code where you need to call you the function again and again. Okay. I hope you understand the search operation. Now we are going to understand the insert method in the Python. So as I said earlier, this will be the function for the insert. Okay, so we are going to discuss only the function which is responsible for the insertion in the binary search. Okay, let's see how it goes. So if root is none, suppose this is my uh, tree and what I need to do, I need to insert some of the value but I don't know where it will get inserted so I have to compare it at every level and depending upon its perfect position I have to place that particular incoming node. Okay, so now first of all I have to check one of the extreme conditions that if the root is none or not. If the root itself is null, it means I am having an empty tree. I do not have any tree at all. It means the insertion is happening for the first time and there I will be returning only the node key value that has been there which is what is the value inside the node key I will be just returning that value else what I can do it means that I have either the left side or the right side to explore on what I will be doing now I will check whether the root value is equal equal to the key or not the key value that I want to insert if it is equal means it is existing already it exists already I do not want to include it further in order to gain the redundancy. It will create a redundancy in the code. So in order to avoid it, I will just put in the root here. I am not going to insert it. But else it is like else if the root value is less than key. It means I have uh, the value which is greater than the key value at the root. So I will insert that particular value on the right hand side of the tree. And I will make a recursive call to the function that is the insert here with the right Side. Else, I will insert it into the left area and I will do on this completion till I uh, make my insertion. So, insertion is one process and that thing will happen. After that thing, once you are done with the insertion, you can print the binary search tree in an in order manner. Okay, and in in order manner, why it is being there? Because it gives you an ascending kind of area where you will be putting all the values which are for the tree in an ascending order. So you will get a clear idea that your binary source tree is correct or not if you are going to print them in an in order manner. Now coming to the delete method. So delete method is something which is very complicated for binary source tree because the tree gets shuffled in. Okay, so what happened basically, suppose this is my tree and I want to delete this particular node. Then you know, need to know that what will be the next condition. It won't be like the tree will look like this only. Okay, uh, if I get to delete this, I will have three trials and this is not the case because these two uh, things now need to 
have a parent because their parent is deleted so i have to do something to this area and if i just completely make these two particular things to this particular parent then what will happen i will end up in a ternary tree which is not my purpose i have to make the tree only binary so what i need to do now i will need a re shuffling and where i need to compare the root value with the existing values and these values itself and now i have to create a new tree which might look like this thing and where this particular node may be the left or the right depending upon the situation which is greater or which is less because we do not have any comparison between these two at all okay so now what we are going to do we are going to check for the minimum value of the uh, node okay so what is the minimum value that i need to first find out and depending upon that minimum value i am going to change the orientation of the final view that i am going to return after the delete operation because once the delete operation is been done i need to change my tree as per the standards of the binary source tree okay so now what will happen i will have to take a temporary current node where i am going to assign the node that i want to find on to minimum one and then i will find the left most leaf because the left most leaf will be the minimum in the tree okay so that is the thing that i'm going to find until i find that this particular left is not none i'll keep on assigning current equal to current left okay so i need to find the minimum value of the node now what i'll be doing i will be writing the delete code and the operation that we saw just uh, will be taken inside this particular thing so now what will be the condition first we have a base condition because we are going to write a recursive code so we need to have a base condition and that base condition will go like if your root is null okay if your root is null you are going to return your root there is nothing to delete on suppose your root is was there and it got deleted and you have nothing now okay it means your tree is null and if your tree is null it means you have nothing to delete and you will just return whatever the root has been there okay if the key to be deleted is less than the root node if the key to be deleted is less than the root node what you need to do you need to check this condition where the root key is less than the key if it is so what you are going to do you are going to iterate to again the left hand side of the tree because the value which you want to delete is residing in the left part of the node it means it is less than that otherwise if it is greater what you need to do you need to go to the root right portion because it is greater than okay if the value that i want to delete is residing on to the greater side of the tree i have to explore the right side of my tree in the recursive manner after that what i need to do i need to check whether i am standing the point at which i am standing suppose this is the point okay and suppose this point i am standing here and i am encounter that this is the node that i want to delete okay then what i need to do i need to just make the shuffling because i have found my node to get deleted okay the similar manner in which i will be doing the iteration over the left hand side and the right hand side what i end up after the execution of all those steps i will find the root which i want to delete means the value that i want to delete will be pointed out and that value will be a leaf okay so if it is a leaf or a node with one child only like this situation if it is a leaf only or if the leaf with one child only then what i need to do i need to delete it okay and for deletion of that particular root i will set that root to null and i will just assign uh, the temporary node to the roots front okay otherwise i am going to do that thing for the roots here okay when these two things are being done what i am going to do i am going to find the temporary the temporary variable which is being feeded here i will be just taking that particular thing from the minimum value of the root node okay so what will be the minimum value from wherever it was been coming i will just take that thing and i will make sure that that value is being feeded to the root keys value and by that purpose i will be making the shuffling in the code that is for the deletion so deletion is little bit tricky if you want to learn deletion in detail what you need to do you need to make a tree and then you want to delete and then you want to have a shuffling over the leaves that how you are going to maintain all the leaves after deletion so try to delete the root node at the first then the second root node and the third root node third level root node these things you can do and then you can try what changes it makes when you want to delete this particular thing and if you want to try this code on your particular tree you need to 
create a tree by writing a class of the node and there you can create a tree and after creation of the tree you can just call all these functions which I have shown to you and that will work perfectly fine will give you an idea about insertion, deletion and searching in the binary search tree. So I hope you guys get an idea about the level of difficulty that Seb is asking for 40 mark of question for 2020 and I hope the level may be increased a little bit uh, up for this particular year but definitely they are more sticking to the basics so I will suggest everyone to stick to the basics.